It's the Party King Keys. Thanks for stopping by the Ada House. Before you check out this latest episode, I'd like to take a second to thank Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, and Anchor. If you ever thought about creating your own content as a podcast, Anchor would be the app for you. It's easy, accessible. You also can do it at Anchor FM or download the Anchor app at your Google Play Store. I'm the Party King Keys. Enjoy this episode. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Oh, Lord. Right. That's Kamala Harris as our first African American, South Asian American woman vice president. Yeah, let's go. Mike Pence, your duties are relieved. Gentlemen, please be seated. Followed by musical honors. Yes, time for that oath. Time for the oath. They go, Miss Doctor Biden. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, will, to the best of my ability, Be preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, Be safe. protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. No, wait, wait, wait. Joseph R. Biden inaugurated as the 46th President of the United States of America. Congratulations. And congratulations to Miss. Harris as well. All right, Mr. President. Chief Justice Roberts, Vice President Harris, Speaker Pelosi. Leader Schumer, Leader McConnell, Vice President Pence, my uh, distinguished guests, my fellow Americans. This is America's day. This is democracy's day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph, not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The people, the will of the people has been heard, and the will of the people has been heeded. We've learned again that democracy is precious, democracy is fragile, and at this hour, my friends, democracy has prevailed. So now, 
On this hallowed ground where just a few days ago violence sought to shake the capital's very foundation, we come together as one nation, under God, indivisible, to carry out the peaceful transfer of power as we have for more than two centuries. As we look ahead in our uniquely American way, restless, bold, optimistic, and set our sights on the nation we know we can be and we must be. I thank my predecessors of both parties for their presence here today. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And I know and I know the resilience of our Constitution and the strength, the strength of our nation, as does President Carter, who I spoke with last night, who cannot be with us today, but whom we salute for his lifetime and service. Yeah. Yeah. Salute to you, President Carter. I've just taken the sacred oath each of those patriots have taken, the oath first sworn by George Washington. But the American story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us, Facts. on we, the people, who seek a more perfect union. This is a great nation. We are good people. And over the centuries, through storm and strife, in peace and in war, we've come so far, but we still have far to go. We'll press forward with speed and urgency, for we have much to do in this winter of peril and significant possibilities. Much to repair, much to restore, much to heal, much to build, and much to gain. Few people in our nation's history have been more challenged or found a time more challenging or difficult than the time we're in now. Once in a century virus that silently stalks the country has taken as many lives in one year as America lost in all of World War II. Wow. Millions of jobs have been lost. Hundreds of thousands of businesses closed. Yeah. A cry for racial justice some 400 years in the making yeah. moves us. Come on. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. Oh, yeah. A cry for survival comes from planet itself. A cry that can't be any more desperate or any more clear. And now, a rise of political extremism, white supremacy, domestic terrorism that we must confront and we will defeat. Yes, sir. To overcome these challenges, to restore the soul and secure the future of America, requires so much more than words. It requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy, unity. Unity. In another January, on New Year's Day in 1863, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. All right. When he put pen to paper, the president said, and I quote, if my name ever goes down into history, it'll be for this act, and my whole soul is in it. My whole soul is in it. I know Today, right. on this January day, my whole soul is in this, bringing uh -huh. America together, uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. Uniting to fight the foes we face. Anger, resentment and hatred. Extremism, lawlessness, violence, disease, joblessness and hopelessness. With unity, we can do great things, important things. We can right wrongs. We can put people to work in good jobs. We can teach our children in safe schools. We can overcome the deadly virus. We can reward, reward work and rebuild the middle class and make health care secure for all. We can deliver racial justice and we can make America once again 
a leading force for good in the world. I know speaking of unity can sound to some like a foolish fantasy these days. I know the forces that divide us are deep and they are real. But I also know they are not new. Our history has been a constant struggle between the American ideal that we're all are created equal and the harsh, ugly reality that racism, nativism, fear, demonization have long torn us apart. The battle is perennial and victory is never assured. Through civil war, the Great Depression, World War, 9-11, through struggle, sacrifice, and setbacks, our better angels have always prevailed. In each of these moments, enough of us, enough of us have come together to carry all of us forward. And we can do that now. History, faith, and reason show the way, the way of unity. We can see each other not as adversaries, but as neighbors. We can treat each other with dignity and respect. We can join forces, stop the shouting, and lower the temperature. For without unity, there is no peace, only bitterness and fury, no progress, only exhausting outrage, no nation, only a state of chaos. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. And unity is the path forward. And we must meet this moment as the United States of America. If we do that, I guarantee you we will not fail. We have never, ever, ever, ever failed in America. When we've acted together. And so today, at this time, in this place, let's start afresh. All of us, let's begin to listen to one another again, hear one another, see one another, show respect to one another. Politics doesn't have to be a raging fire, destroying everything in its path. Every disagreement doesn't have to be a cause for total war. And we must reject the culture in which facts themselves are manipulated and even manufactured. My fellow Americans, we have to be different than this. America has to be better than this. And I believe America is so much better than this. Just look around. Here we stand in the shadow of the Capitol Dome, as was mentioned earlier, completed amid the Civil War, when the Union itself was literally hanging in the balance. Yeah. Yet we endured. We prevailed. Here we stand, looking out on the Great Mall, where Dr. King spoke of his dream. Mm -hmm. Here we stand, where 108 years ago, at another inaugural, thousands of protesters tried to block brave women marching for the right to vote. And today, we mark the swearing in as the first woman in American history elected to national office, Vice President Kamala Harris. Don't tell me things can't change. Here we stand across the Potomac from Arlington Cemetery, where heroes who gave the last full measure of devotion rest in eternal peace. And here we stand, just days after a riotous mob thought they could use violence to silence the will of the people, to stop the work of our democracy, to drive us from this sacred ground. It did not happen. It will never happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever, not ever. To all those who supported our campaign, I'm humbled by the faith you've placed in us. To all those who did not support us, let me say this. Hear me out as we move forward. Take a measure of me and my heart. And if you still disagree, so be it. That's democracy. That's America. The right to dissent peaceably. 
within the guardrails of our republic is perhaps this nation's greatest strength. Yet hear me clearly, this agreement must not lead to disunion. And I pledge this to you. I will be a president for all Americans, all Americans. And I promise you, I will fight as hard for those who did not support me as for those who did. Many centuries ago, St. Augustine, a saint of my church, wrote that a people was a multitude defined by the common objects of their love. Defined by the common objects of their love. What are the common objects we as Americans love that define us as Americans? I think we know. Opportunity, security, liberty, dignity, respect, honor, and yes, the truth. Recent weeks and months have taught us a painful lesson. There is truth and there are lies. Lies told for power and for profit. And each of us has a duty and a responsibility as citizens, as Americans, and especially as leaders. Leaders who have pledged to honor our Constitution and protect our nation, to defend the truth and defeat the lies. Look, I understand that many of my fellow Americans view the future with fear and trepidation. I understand they worry about their jobs. I understand, like my dad, they lay in bed staring at the at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering, can I keep my health care? Can I pay my mortgage? Thinking about their families, about what comes next. Yeah. I promise you, I get it. But the answer is not to turn inward, to retreat into competing factions, distrusting those who don't look like look like you or worship the way you do or don't get their news from the same sources you do we must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue rural versus urban or, or rural versus urban conservative versus liberal we can do this if we open our souls instead of hardening our hearts if we show a little tolerance and humility. And if we're willing to stand in the other person's shoes, as my mom would say, just for a moment, stand in their shoes. Because here's the thing about life. There's no accounting for what fate will deal you. Some days when you need a hand, there are other days when we're called to lend a hand. That's how it has to be. That's what we do for one another. And if we are this way, our country will be stronger, more prosperous, more ready for the future. And we can still disagree. My fellow Americans, in the work ahead of us, we're going to need each other. We need all our strength to, preserve, to persevere through this dark winter. We're entering what may be the toughest and deadliest period of the virus. We must set aside politics and finally face this pandemic as one nation. One nation. And I promise you this. As the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We will get through this together. Together. Look, folks. All my colleagues I serve with in the House and the Senate up here, we all understand the world is watching, watching all of us today. So here's my message to those beyond our borders. America has been tested, and we've come out stronger for it. We will repair our alliances and engage with the world once again. Not to meet yesterday's challenges, but today's and tomorrow's challenges. And we'll lead, not merely by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. President?
We'll be a strong Joe and trusted Joe partner Biden. for peace, Biden. progress, and security. Joe Biden. It's yes. President Joe Biden. Look, you all know we've been th through so we much first lady in this nation. Who's doctor? And my Biden. first act as president, we have I'd like to ask you to join me in a moment of silent prayer. Remember all of those who we lost this past year to the pandemic. The same last those 400,000 fellow Americans, moms, dads, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. We'll honor them by becoming the people and the nation we know we can and should be. So I ask you, let's say a silent prayer for those who've lost their lives and those left behind and for our country. Oh, let me see. Amen. Amen. That's Folks, this is a time of testing. We face an attack on our democracy and on truth. A raging virus, growing inequity, the sting of systemic racism, a climate in crisis, America's role in the world. Any one of these would be enough to challenge us in profound ways. But the fact is, we face them all at once, presenting this nation with the, one of the gravest responsibilities we've had. Now we're going to be tested. Are we going to step up, all of us? It's That's time it. for boldness, for there's so much to do. And this is certain. I promise you, we will be judged, you and I, by how we resolve these cascading crises of our era. We will rise to the occasion is the question. Will we master this rare and difficult hour? Will we meet our obligations and pass along a new and better world to our children? I believe we must. I'm sure you do as well. I believe we will. And when we do, we'll write the next great chapter in the history of the United States of America, the American story. A story that might sound something like a song that means a lot to me. It's called American Anthem. And there's one verse that stands out, at least for me, and it goes like this. The work and prayers of century have brought us to this day. What shall be our legacy? What will our children say? Let me know in my heart when my days are through. America, America, I gave my best to you. Let's add, let's us add our own work and prayers to the unfolding story of our great nation. If we do this, then when our days are through, our children and our children's children will say of us, they gave their best, they did their duty, they healed a broken land. My fellow Americans, I closed the day where I began with the sacred oath. Before God and all of you, I give you my word. I will always level with you. I will defend the Constitution. I'll defend our democracy. I'll defend America. And I'll give all, all of you, keep everything you, I do in your service thinking not of power, but of possibilities, not of personal interest, but the public good. And together, we shall write an American story of hope, not fear, of unity, not division, of light, not darkness, a story of decency and dignity, love and healing, greatness and goodness. May this be the story that guides us, the story that inspires us, and the story that tells ages yet to come that we answer the call of history. We met the moment. Democracy and hope, truth and justice did not die on our watch but thrive. That America secured liberty at home and stood once again as a beacon to the world. That is what we owe our forebears, one another and generation to follow. So, with purpose and resolve, we turn to those tasks of our time, sustained by faith, driven by conviction, and devoted to one another and the country we love with all our hearts. 
May God bless America and may God protect our troops. Thank you, America. Yes, sir. You heard it first. And now our new president, Joe Biden, president. Yeah, Barack Obama, Miss Michelle Obama, the Honorable, the Honorable Barack Obama, Dr. Miss Michelle Obama, Dr. Biden, Vice President Cameron Harrison, and first, uh, Second First Man, uh, W. Bush, uh, his lovely wife, Bill, Dr., uh, former President Bill Clinton, and uh, 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 what is this lovely wife Hillary uh, J-Lo and Lady Gaga did an awesome job ladies and gentlemen please welcome Garth Brooks to perform hey! Amazing Grace yeah Garth Brooks in the building of Gar Brooks performing an amazing place at the inauguration of President Joe Biden and Kamala Harrison. I'm the Party King Keys. Thank you for listening. Take it away, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to ask you to sing this last verse with me. Not just the people here, but the people at home that work as one united. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Yeah. Hey, man. Scott Brooks. Salute to the troops. And a big salute to that fire chief from Georgia. She's awesome. Also, salute to uh, Mike Pence for stopping through. He didn't stop through uh, the change of power. He stopped through as American citizen. As, it, as, as I heard Will Blitzer speak earlier. So that's awesome. Uh, huh? Get right with you. <laughs> they should have played that at the inaugural. It's the party King Keys. Shout out to uh, Kamala Harris, Miss Vice President. Shout out to the first... Uh, First, sir, the second, sir, uh, and a big salute to our new president, uh, Joe Biden, 46. Hope you do something great and, and uh, take this country where it needs to be. And hey, one more thing. Everybody had on the mask. 
If everybody had on a mask as an inauguration, every soldier, every singer, every person, that means you're supposed to have yours on too. And if you see somebody that ain't got one on, you better tell that fool to put it on. All right? Because your health your is, is a safety, is a must. So health is the first priority. Make sure you stay sanitized. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Make sure your family safe. And make sure you safe. It's the Party King Keys. Salute. Yeah. Get right with you. Donald Trump. It's the Party King Keys, the inaugural edition. Man, I got the speeches coming from uh, Miss Vice President Kamala Harris. I got the Joe Biden speech. So if you missed it, tune in. If you heard it, hey, re-listen to it. He talked about some awesome things. Uh, man, it was an awesome day, man. It was perfect, man. We got a new president, new vice president. We're going to see what they're going to do in they in they term, their first term of four years. And we're going to see what their next term is, you know. Joe Biden got reunited. Uh, he it, it, they were showing it on CNN with Wolf Blitz said that uh he he went back to his old locker. You know what I'm saying? He like yo, I've been here before, so he back home. So welcome back home, Joe. You know what I'm saying? And he's the oldest. He's the oldest ranking president right now. So we are gonna really see what he do. You know what I'm saying? See what this old man got up his sleeve. He, hey, he got the black woman with him, so you know that means some. Well, well, she's black, uh, native, and. Uh, South Asian, so man, it's a lot. So that's what's up uh, in the in the politician game, in the politic game. The the who who's of who's was there, you know. They had a couple state senators. Uh, the as in the words of the great, the honorable Barack Obama, Doctor Miss Michelle Obama, uh, Doctor Jill Biden, uh, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. They had George W. with his lovely wife. You know what I'm saying? Michelle wasn't giving them no candy because, you know, that's the only time they really uh, be kicking it. They kicked it at the last two funerals, um, at his father's funeral and at John McCain. Rest in peace. Well, yeah, rest in peace of Miss Aretha Franklin because they both died the same day. But, man, they was out there. She was killing it, too. Oh, God. Happy belated birthday, Miss Dr. Michelle Obama. She was looking good as hell. If you didn't see the pictures, I'm going to have the pictures up. Uh, PartyKingKeysTV.wordpress.com. I have all the images up. Lady Gaga. Oh, man. She killed it. National killed it. J-Lo came through. Killed it. A-Rod was, uh, they was dapping. Him and Obama was dapping it up. That was hilarious. Uh, man, that was dope. That was dope. Gar Brooke came through. I ain't heard. I ain't. I was like, Gar, I ain't heard Gar for in a minute, but he came through, so it was great, man. I hope you uh, enjoy, hope you check it out, and I hope you take some things for it, and uh, we're going to hold them to it. We're going to hold them to it. We're going to see if they're going to really stand on what they talk about, because, you know, most politicians, they don't, but, you know, they got to execute, you know, they got a lot of a lot of things to go by and a few things to execute, so, you know, with everything, it all takes time, and, uh, man, it was good to just see them all together. I don't know if you know, but... Uh, mostly funerals. Funerals is only when all the vice presidents really hang out. You know, not the vice presidents, all the former presidents. So, you know, when we see them, only time they be together is for inaugurals and for funerals, you know, of someone of the seal. So it was just good seeing them, uh, together. It was just like a cookout, like a reunion, like, like a school reunion. When you see, when you see all your old school teachers and like, oh, okay. Your old professors. I'm talking about, you know how it be when you at that family reunion when everybody back to get damn car, you saw your hey, what then? Yeah, yes, that's how that was for the uh, for all those politicians there. Shout out to the uh, what is that? The fire chief from Georgia. Oh man, she killed it. She killed it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video. It's up there. Party King Keys TV dot com. Uh, you can find it on YouTube and any other outlets. But you can also probably uh, you're gonna be checking it out here. Uh, enjoy this speech. I got it coming from the great, the great Miss Camille Harris, our first black African American uh, vice president. Shout out to her husband, the second, the second gentleman of the cabinet, and uh, Doctor Miss Doctor Biden and uh, Jill Biden, uh, first lady, and uh, our new inaugural uh, Mr. Joseph Biden. So Joe Biden is our new president, 46. You know what I'm saying? They 40, it's 46 on. Huh? This 46. As long as America been running. 
46. Damn. So, hey, me and son, we're going to hold him to him. Dr. King's birthday was just uh, last weekend. We just celebrated his 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 legacy and the things that he stood on on uh, Monday. You know, they gave us some months of Black History Months coming up. But every day that you as a, a black person or you know a black person, it's, it's Black History Month. Because every day someone is making history. Hey, it's Black History today because guess what? We got a black woman in the office. <laughs> run half running the world as a vice president. So we making history. Black people always make history. We always do awesome things. You see, black people helping each other, giving each other rides, and giving dollars, and helping, and donating, and giving back, and doing charity. That's black history because somebody gonna remember that. And when somebody in that position to help somebody else, they should do the same thing. And ain't bright gonna do the same thing. And you know me, I'm the party king keys, and I'm here to motivate the motivators because I'm motivated by the motivators to motivate the motivators. It's the party king. Have a beautiful and safe evening, safe day, safe year. Have a prosperous week. Have a prosperous and safe week. Uh, check out all the latest uh, Power Hour and uh, Party King Key Show, the Sunday Flashback, Butcher Talk, all new episodes. I got the Quarantine and Chill Part 2, Part 3. It's about to be coming to you soon. Uh, shout out to all the listeners. Wherever you listen to that, shout out to you. Uh, if you're on Speaker, Anchor, YouTube, uh, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, if you're on Spotify, if you're on Radio.com, if you're on uh, Amazon Music, if you're on Audible, if you're on, uh, what what is that we just got inducted into? We just signed the contract last night. iHeartRadio, hit me up. Let me know. Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're listening. Wherever you're listening. It's a couple more sites that... Uh, they didn't bring the paperwork in here, but hey, it's a couple more. Wherever you listen to it, let me know. Hit me up on all the uh, social media sites at Party King Keys. And man, do something for somebody, okay? You already know what it is. It's, it's still Wednesday. It's the refill. It's the recharge. It's the inaugural edition. Hey, be great, okay? Do something nice for somebody. Don't be selfish. Do something nice for somebody, okay? As I always say, the sun ain't shining right now, but you still could be somebody else's sunlight that means hey you could have a fucked up day somebody could have pissed you off take that energy that you that that good energy that you was gonna push out to them and just push it to something else or hey let that pass and and don't let it don't let that anger overpower you or whatever the situation is to, to to do you in okay i'm the party king key shout out to you shout out to all the beautiful listeners all the great people have a prosperous week shout out to uh shay tiara she got some things that are about to drop uh check out my interview with gbi vinci Man, it was dope. And check out uh, Music Mondays. And if you know any artists that want to submit their music to, uh, for a better platform and get some more listeners just to get out there, you hit me up. PartyKingKeys at gmail.com. Work some things out. Shout out to uh, Lyrical Lemonade and Leezy. I see you, North Pole Leezy. I see you, boy. Yeah, it's the Party Kings. Big shout out to Kivo Gotti. Uh, Fair Play uh, 2333. Chachi Global from the Global Gangsters. Uh, shout out to Jojo Capone. He was about to... He over there with uh, Birdman. They over there making them power plays, man. Uh, who else? Big shout out to Kane Bleak. Uh, Chingo Dollar. I see you, man. Chingo G. Motown. I see you. Chingo Shouty. Yeah. Big salute. Those are a couple artists that was uh, featured on the last episode of Music Mondays. So, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed the inaugural. It's inaugural edition. The speech is about to play. So, you know, go get your chips, roll up, get your sip on, read your, get your glasses on. If, you, if you're if in a car, then cut it up and hope you're having a great day. Okay, have a safe day to work. Have a great day when you get off. Have a great day, a happy day hour. Just make sure that you're cautious. Make sure, Hey, and, and uh, one more thing, man. I know you're going to hear it later, but listen. All of those people that was there had on a mask, all right? They had on a mask from the soldiers to the people that was in the hallway. That, that, that Even the old janitor lady that dapped up George W. Bush had a mask on. So if they going to do it and if they could do it, you know you could do it. So if you see somebody you're on the stove, you're in the gas station, you, uh, you're in the restaurant, they ain't got a mask, put your mask on. Tell that fool to put their mask on. Women do whatever. They, hey, man, put a mask on. If you got an extra one, give it to them, all right? Hey, 
We got to we got to overcome this. We trying to 2023, 2023, 2024. Man, it's, it's it's about that time. Make sure you 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 checking out that cryptocurrency, you getting your money up, you getting your crypto game up, you get your investment game up right now. It's the best time to take care of the market. So get your phones up, get your, get your money right. Take care of your family. Families first. You know how I feel about that, okay? Family first. All right? The party king keys have a prosperous day, a prosperous evening, a prosperous and safe night. All right, take care of your family, spend time with your kids, spend time with your loved ones, spend time with your significant others, spend time with your uh spouse, with, with your parents, yeah, and your siblings, and all that good stuff, man. Black history, we made black history today, but every day is black history. It's the party king. Be safe, be kind to one another, stay sanitized, stay safe. You're awesome. And if ain't nobody told you, you're beautiful and you can do anything. In the words of uh, uh, Reverend Comer down there from U of I, don't be all that you could be, but be everything that God called you to be. Sister Party King, peace, enjoy. It's the inaugural edition. Enjoy this speech. This is a Party King, Party King Keys exclusive. Party King Keys, what's your pay and what's your name?